everyone my name is Sarah Shuro and I'm a certified personal trainer certified group fitness instructor and welcome back to my youtube channel are you ready I know I've been MIA for a while uh, so many things have been happening life preparing kids back to school and unfortunately I lost someone very close so it got a little bit crazy but i am back uh, i am coming let's talk about the reasons why you might be going to the gym and you're not seeing results or you want to start and uh, you seriously don't know how you're going to go about it like i know going to the gym is a little bit intimidating so i'm going to give you a few tips of the mistakes I've seen people do that I think might help if you, even if you have started gym and you've already been doing those mistakes, it might help you rectify them. So, number one is having an incomplete program. A fitness program is supposed to cater for all aspects of fitness. So strength, cardio, and your flexibility. So people have a tendency of not including flexibility in their program because ah, stretch, stretch nyumbani. Why should I stretch at the gym? So please, please, and please, flexibility is part of your fitness program. Uh, having very poor flexibility affects so many things of your aspect, especially in strength. You might notice so many people have got such tight armstrings and it might be cause of not stretching or doing flexibility having a flexibility program which most of the time might you might find somebody having an injury because of that i know it sounds weird but please both three parts of the fitness is very important your strength you need to carry your weight uh secondly you need to do cardio and thirdly please include flexibility into your program another thing uh overworking your muscles i've seen people come and since anataka kulus migu or they want to shape their legs they find maybe their thighs are big you'll find a person if you teach them how to use a uh, example a leg press machine you'll find that client coming in every day doing the same same machine so in the end, you end up overworking that muscle, which might lead to injury, which might mean you will stop going to the gym, which will also hinder your progress. And it means staying at home and you'll end up hitting the gym. Honestly, stop and not go again. So point number two. Number two, I don't know really number one sorry i have to keep looking at my notes number two you're not focusing on nutrition so watch out what you see there you see the workout that you've done and you feel like oh my god i burned a lot of calories right now and then utoke hapo you go home just just say you one meal utoke when ukale do you know it might undo all the hard work that you put in in the gym? Yes. That's why nutrition is very important when you're starting your fitness journey. Like, it's very, very important. And the way that brings me to my next thing. When I'm talking about nutrition, please remember one thing. If your diet has a name, like your diet plan the one you're following has a name it's a crash diet uh i usually tell my clients and i think most of them think the ones who have listened listened to me have gotten very good results so thank you fully but there's this one notion that uh, i don't know what to mean to Kawapi. you'll find a client who wants to lose weight so they will rush to a diet and the diet is very restrictive and i usually tell my clients and i'll tell you this for free please fitness is supposed to fit into your lifestyle nutrition is supposed to fit 
into your lifestyle. Fitness is a lifestyle. So if something cannot fit into your lifestyle, do you think you can maintain it? You cannot maintain it. So when I say it has to fit, I do not mean kwamba wedele junk. What I mean is anza pole pole. Anza pole pole. Like you are taking starchy cards, rice, whatever. You can substitute that and start with complex cards. Uh, Viazitamo and Doma. They are readily available. I know most of you will say, oh, I miss silly. But by the way, it's very nice. And you can cook it in any way. Kunawa to an oven. If you like it, like in cheese form, crispy and that. This place, Kunapaka air fryer. You get me? You can even boil it. It doesn't have to be boring. Nutrition. People have made fitness so boring to a point where okay, to you're going on a diet. The first thing you have kiri ni I will have to boil everything. No, you don't. You do not have to boil everything to get to your goal or to reach the nutrition that you want. Our fourth and our fifth, not identifying your goal and purpose. I know, and I can tell you for free, that it's very hard to stay motivated. In a gym, it's very hard to stay motivated. I, motivation does not last. I usually tell people motivation does not last. You need to be disciplined. Like, do you know your why? Why would you leave your bed in the morning and go to the gym? Why? Because when you get plan. So does it mean kind of motivation? When you know, but she's not disciplined enough to know that this is the goal that I want. I need to wake up and achieve it. Uh, seeing that dessert that you love on the table now one way, you know what? I'm skipping this. That is discipline. It's not motivation. It's discipline. This is what I want. This is not what I will do. And it brings me to the same thing I'll say again. When you go to the gym, please stop saying, I want to get into shape. For me, that is usually very vague because I usually don't understand it does not indicate what exactly you want. Like what you exactly you want. And you will have to pause a little bit. I think that's my daughter. She went for a birthday party. And she is back. Give me a second. The party. Why? Yeah, I don't think you're feeling okay. Sick. That's true, but I'm feeling good and then just like this yeah i don't know i think tomorrow you'll go back you have to see the doctor okay. Ah. okay i am back and the next point you welcome back i'm sorry for that so the next point is pushing too hard to soon so let me give you an example. You cannot go from sitting every single day or not doing any workout to being the next up uh, Kenya Tatumianani Kipchoge or Conchestina. You know, like always younger from not doing any workout, expecting that you will run 10 kilometers, 5 kilometers as soon as you go. I know it pains that you've invested, you've removed your own hard earned money to pay for the gym and to also pay maybe for a personal trainer. And then having to add the fact that Unona, why are the other people in the gym training like this? My dear, some of them have been there for two years or three years. Stop competing, stop thinking that they're looking at you. Everybody's fighting their own demons at the gym. Trust me when I tell you that. People are fighting so much to even care what you're doing. That's why if you feel intimidated, put on your airpods, your headphones, and just concentrate on what brought you to the gym in the first place. So please, start slowly. I usually tell people, have a book. And when I say that, people find it weird. People have journals. Get a book, like just a small book. I think they go for 30 books, the small ones. I don't have any here I would have shown. So 
But with that book, I think it goes for 30 bob. Or even your kids' exercise book, the ones that they don't use. Start writing what you do. Like, if you're going to do today legs, and you've done squats, uh, sumo squats, whatever you'll be given to do on that day, and you use 5 kgs, write some of 5 kgs. Do the 5 kgs. When you progress, please add. Give yourself time. Give yourself grace that you've started this. Some workouts you'll not be able to, but they can be modified. And start slowly. Build your stamina. Build yourself. And you'll get there. Trust me, you will get there. You'll be the next beast mode or what you want to use in the gym. Another one. Now that one brings me to the next one, which means you have no structure. I know. Having a structure means you have a program, like you know what to do <coughs> at the gym on that day. Um, in the gym, leo kufanya legs na core. In core, I mean your abs. So in the gym, leo kufanya my core and my legs. So you prepare yourself na kufanya. So when you go, a set number of workouts you're going to do. Uh, is it five? Is it six? Uh, what am I going to do with these six workouts? Uh, with these six workouts, how many sets am I going to do and how many reps I'm going to do? That's why I still go back. Have a book where you write the number of sets and the reps that you're going to do. So that in a month you can sit back again and see how far you've gone. And that one brings me to the point where you need to have accountability. So if you're not a person who can be accountable on your own, then you need somebody to keep you accountable. That's where you can hire a personal trainer to help you in your training and getting all those things in check. Because for, a, for your personal trainer, I believe, and that's my belief, that's what we do, and they must have a program. They must have a program that is tailored only for you. So the program that is tailored for you has to include everything that you're doing. That we sometimes <coughs> you can have a class, you can do a fitness. It's up to the train. So you and you a trainer work. So like what I usually do with my clients, <coughs> they'll have a day for cardio, they'll have a day where they'll attend a fitness class. And after they do that fitness class, me and them are done. Like I already know today, we are not pushing too much. So if we are going to push too much today, tomorrow it means their workouts have to be a little bit low intensified for them to be able to recover. So there are people who do three times of of, of work of lay of strength. For example, push pull and core. Or some people alternate, they'll do each body part. That's up to you. Some people do full body workouts three times per week and the rest of the day they might do something low. But it's important that you have an accountability partner. If you can if you can keep yourself accountable and you're very good at that, uh, congratulations. Most of the time people can't do it. They will sleep more, they'll cement, they will look for excuses not to even get out of bed. So that's why Domana what would have to pass training. <clears throat> so if you think you can keep yourself accountable, then you don't need it. But if you do know that you do not have the discipline, you will always find excuses, especially as mothers, we always have excuses. Leo, uh, I'm doing this thing, I can't make it. I'm not saying the excuses are not valid. I'm just saying as mothers, we tend to keep ourselves second. Yeah, we tend to keep ourselves second. Uh, but you'll feel like oh, that mom guilt will get in and you'll not do it. So people do it for you. Have an accountability part. Have a program that is all round. Please. Please. And when going to the gym, please. Va ahead circle. Enjoy the music. Put a dress well, whatever you want to feel, whatever is comfortable for you. But please don't wear jeans. No, please don't wear jeans. They're not flexible. They're very uncomfortable. I've seen so many people, some people go to the gym with their jeans and they tell you they're comfortable. It's not comfortable. No, it's not. So please don't wear jeans, but 
then you're comfortable wear sneakers very nice shoes and when it comes to shoes maybe i'll do a separate video on that but please make sure the shoes you're wearing are comfortable and they're for the purpose that is taking you to the gym i know i just left you confused right so people i think that marks the end of this video I don't know if it's long, if it's short, but I hope it helped you. And if you have any questions, drop them down. I'll try as much as possible to answer them. And if you have any more questions or if you need any help with creating a small program, please go to my Instagram handle and leave me a message. And I'll try as much as possible to help you. I said help. Because if you need more, it means you have to pay me. So that's why I insist in help. There's a difference between help and having to write it for you. You get me, you feel me? Yeah. So with that, uh, we end this video with have a great day. And remember, fitness is not a sprint. It's a marathon. And there is no straight line in fitness. Fitness is linear like the line has to go this good days and bad days there are good weeks and very bad weeks and yes i think i will explain more on that next time if i put everything in this video it might get confusing so let's end there and let me go look after my daughter as she's not feeling well a little bit yeah Think going back to school so see you on the next video remember to like comment and subscribe like subscribe just you know button to press to it love for subscribe yes and thank you so much for being here appreciate you subscribe by the way subscribe and ask me those questions and let's do a question at a. Mm -hmm. So leave those questions there and maybe I might make a video on that. As for now, adios my people. Stay fit, stay healthy.